Alright guys, doing a quick review on Hydraka because I've never had him before and I didn't even know he was this good. I played with him like in grand duels, but he must have not had his best moves on. So I rank one Abomination. Uh oh, I could have sworn that Abomination gave you immune to freeze and possession. I guess that was Mountain. Abomination gives immunity to possession, corruption, nightmares, and bleed. That's two dots two controls and corruption is very popular for going past immune to possession hardened 20 percent less accuracy against it that's just a good umbrella trait and then this i love this status caster true vision precision doubled this basically guarantees that even with bulwark you'll always hit your moves now as of for your moves Infernal Crab, 0 stamina, 0 cooldown, 45 damage it seems. And these guys were powerful, these Metropolitans. Heaton Shell, 30%. Life Shield, alright. 0 cooldown, 30 stamina, that might be... If he was a tank, Megaton, that'd be better. 50% shield and positive prote effect protection. This is really good, but in an era of Pierce, you really don't need the shield. They're gonna go right past it. Side dash, low fire damage to one enemy, 20% life to its 20% life shield to itself, gains the extra turn. This really, it's a moderate move, ultimately pretty bad. 45 damage to all with drowned, 3 turn cooldown and 48 stamina. It's high cost, high reward. This should wipe out the Megaton. This is just a great plus. Having utility using a water move is a fire monster. Abominable pincers, massive fire damage. So a fire monster with a massive fire damage and 30% life shield with the two turn cooldown, 42 stamina. He's just a high cost naturally. And look at this true vision, positive effect protection, and double damage. His next attack is gonna hit, guaranteed thanks to this, and it's gonna hit hard. That's just great. With the 3 cooldown 48 stamina. This is just the reoccurring thing. 48, 2, 42, 48, 3. Anyway, it's not that important. This 0 stamina, 1 cooldown, 50% damage. Heavy water move on a fire monster. With drowns. I, I love it. And if we go here. Boom. Killer Roke's armor. Nabotus's armor, Morg's armor, just any armor. You can make him a tanky monster who, when they hit him, they activate a trap. They lose stamina. They l lose 30,000 health. It's. He's a great monster. And, you know, I've been using this guy as the emblem for my channel. So I happen to have a bias. Just look at that design. Wow. Dance crap. Dance. Sadly, and sacrilegiously, I don't have the attack runes for him right now, but once I do, I'll do a review of using him in the Metropolitan Dungeon. But that's it for this video, just a short one, just to showcase my favorite monster as of now, as of right now in this moment. But uh, your favorite Omnius Crab, signing off.